Alright guys, uh, this is a set of tutorials I'm going to be doing on this channel. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to simply cut out this 757. Now first of all, we're not going to be using those tools, a quick selection or magic wand. They are bad and not good for the, uh, the type of cutting out we're doing. Now we're going to be using a polygonal or a pen. I prefer a polygonal easier for me you're gonna make that's just tracing out a shape and then that yeah. pen tool is a little different though you gotta click click combine them then then we're gonna have to right click and click make selection click OK and from there you're gonna want to go up to the three tools either the dash square the polygonal tool or the magic wand again to refine the edge all right so the basis of this is to mainly cut out to not correction to cut out an object with the background so it's transparent and you can place it on any other uh, Photoshop file alright so I'm gonna zoom on in here and do my work and I'll get back to you when I'm done All right, I am done, and now you can see I have the object fully selected. Um, from here, you're gonna want to create another layer, so duplicate the uh, layer. So hit Control C and Control V, and they'll recreate the plane again. Or on Mac, it is Command C and Command V, and that's it. Without the uh, background, we just cut it off. It's a nice, smooth cutout. But as you can see, under the plane, there are still some edges of the uh, clouds in the sky. It's a real simple fix to get off of. From here, you're going to, this is the OK time to use Magic Wand. Just click somewhere and right click and click Inverse. And then uh, Smart Radius. And I use the uh, Smooth. It's not a lot, but I mean, it'll get rid of the clouds. And then, there you go. You have a simple 757 American Airlines cutout. And hang on, I'm just trying to deselect it. You have a simple 757 American cutout, and it can go on to any background, and it'll look good. <laughs> 